Hello everyone. Today we are looking at my spider, my wolf spider in Unreal Engine. We can take a spin around him. That's the look at of the wolf spider and there's two versions. There's the hair version which has um, just under 8,000 triangles and then there is a hairless version which is only which is less than 3,000 triangles but right now we're looking at the animation map if I hit play we can see all the different animations we have for a wolf spider jumping leaping attack animations dying walking running even going down a web if you want to use that if we get out of this window, we can look at the folders underneath. Uh, we have the animation folder. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, this uh, spider comes with an AI system with a full set of blueprints that you can use. And you can basically drag, the, drag and drop the spider into your scene or game and with just a few adjustments uh, get it working or you could write your own code for the spider we have two maps for it the spider map and an AI map uh, one material PVR material for the spider two meshes again a hair version we can look at this here a hair version which is about 7,000 uh, almost 800 triangles and then there is the hairless version which is less than 3,000 triangles all right we also have a physics mesh Oh, I was uh, creating a control rig, but that's not in the pack yet. I'm not done with the control rig, so. Uh, so there's a, is advanced physics, and we can, oops, uh, let me, advanced physics, and I can pick them up and drag them around. That's kind of cool. And, of course, the skeleton. Uh, and we have textures, four textures, a um, uh, base color, metalness, normal, and roughness map to make up your PBR set. We can jump into the animations now and look at them. Uh, we have a few different blueprints. We can look at the blueprints, or not blueprints, um, blend spaces. Now these blend spaces... Um, go along with they're all the same but they have different speeds because of the different sizes of spiders I gave a bunch of different sizes with the AI system because they all require kind of different speeds uh, depending on what the size of the uh, spider is but they all kind of do the same thing uh, running to walking to idling and to turning all the blend spaces do about the same thing we can look at the animation now, the individual animation. And we have an attack animation, attack two, attack three, and then a dead animation, and a death animation. idle animation idle 2 idle 3 idle 4 then we have a jump animation and then a jump loop so if you want to make a combination set where you can jump to any height and then a landing animation, a running animation, turning left, turning right, a 
walking animation, and then a web down animation. Actually, the spider actually comes with a web in its abdomen. And that's a look at the animation. Now we can jump into the blueprints. Let's load the AI blueprint and play this. And we have a bunch of different spiders in the scene. A few different sizes, but they all kind of act and react the same. They will actually react to you if I come up close. Look at He just snapped at me and ran away. And I could also kill them. So I just bumped them and killed them. These are all options in the blueprint that you can change. And they'll see each other and run away from each other. Let's see this one. Yep. He ran away. We can turn this off. We can look at the blueprints for each one because they have a bunch of different options for them. Let's open up the animation blueprint first. And this is just, uh, you know, all the animations in the animation blueprint and their transitions. If you were coding your own uh, spider AI, you could use this blueprint to do that with all the things already set up for it. And we have the blueprint version. And this blueprint has all the AI. If you select this very top button on the left, you have a bunch of options that you could alter. Like if you don't want them to die in your scene, you could check that and turn that off. Or for sight, if you don't want them to react to people or the player or other characters, you could turn that off. Okay. Or you could adjust, adjust sight too in the AI uh, perception. Okay. So you could adjust the sight radius that it sees by. But in the top, let me compile that. In the top, we can. Uh, you can also change other things. Might not want to change speed, uh, just because they're set to the size of the spider. But you could change its walk radius, its roaming radius, its runaway radius, um, idle time, how long it idles for, how long it stays dead, or how that interacts. Um, what else do we have in here? If you select the mesh version, then you could change or alter things related to that. And it has character movement, and I've already talked about the AI perception. But if we look at this code, this blueprint, it makes, in the beginning, it makes a, a few decisions, and then it either decides to roam and walk around or run away. Uh, and then it could revive itself if it dies and regain health. Here it takes damage and detection, the one below that, has to do with sight. And here is a basic hit check. So you could alter this code, use this code, write your own code for it, write your own blueprint or AI, whatever you want to do. Uh, but it basically makes it so the spider is pretty much drag and drop. So I could just drop one of these spiders, the blueprint, into the scene. And he will just go on his own. Where is he now? I think we set him over here. I think he's a really small one though too, so he might be hard to find. Uh, but I also have uh, a large larger spiders folder which I have different sizes up to kind of the biggest size there um, that you could uh, put in your scene or you could make them larger on your own but you'd have to adjust all of the animation blueprints and speed and all that stuff but that is a look at my wolf spider in Unreal Engine have a good one everyone